Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. My name's Dom, I'm the Chief Tech. So today we're going to be reviewing the cheapest feral crimpers on Amazon. So strap yourself in, grab yourself a coffee and I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, so what comes in this set is a bunch of ferrules and the tool itself. So it's come like this where it's got that cheap plastic and cardboard. So let's get it open. There's no frills in this, really isn't. So the action's okay, I suppose. Got that really nasty, oh, it really smells of cheap plastic or rubber. It, oh, it stinks. Wow, that really reeks. Oh, I hope that doesn't last very long. That's nasty. Okay, so the tool itself, it looks very much like the Nipex ones. It feels slightly cheap, but that doesn't matter as long as it works okay. So let me just get some wire, strip it back, put some ferrules on it, and we'll go from there. Okay, we've got the dirtiest, nastiest little bit of cable that I could find. I didn't do it on purpose, but it's what I had at hand. So, let's strip back some of this bit. It's only some two core that I had lying about. So let's see how good this stuff is. Okay, so we strip back. Let me just get some ferrule from in here. Okay, so this is the packet of ferrules that come with it. Yeah, just pretty standard, I suppose. Let's see the quality of it inside. These don't stink like rubber like the other ones do. So that's a good start, I suppose. Let's uh, use these orange ones. Let's see what, how this fares. So I'll zoom into this bit because otherwise you won't be able to see F all. Okay, so that's the ferrule, here's the tool. Meant to go to the front or the back? Oh, surely it doesn't matter. So, and that's crimped it. Hmm, it's quite good. Well, <laughs> the plastic's no good, but it's definitely on there. Yeah, it's crimped it well. It's not coming off there. And the cheap plastic nubbin thing that came on top of it that, that came off quite easily but you know what that doesn't matter that's quite a good connection there okay so let's do another one try a smaller size Yeah, that's nicely crimped. I mean, you'd expect a tool to do the job, but that, I was half expecting that not to work. So, that's pretty good. Nice solid connection. Yeah, that's that's solid, not bad. And then I kind of thought I'd zoom in to make sure you see all the crimps properly. It's kind of hard to film without a macro lens, might have to invest in one of them, but it's a solid connection, can't lie. Okay, so the one or two crimps I've done been not bad. I mean, it's, it feels cheap. It's not that uncomfortable. It, I was expecting it to be a bit uncomfortable. It's not too bad. Obviously, it's not as ergonomic as the more expensive ones. It's 
quite soft on this uh, rubber bit here and the hard plastic on the red and the rubber of the blue is quite soft. How long that lasts, that, that's up to you really. How much you use these things. I'd use these maybe once or twice a year but I'd do quite a lot of them so yeah it's not too bad I suppose for seven pounds. Can't really go wrong. Right, so they can be adjusted through here, they're plus or minus, so you can crimp a bit more, but for as it goes, it's not too bad. I mean, it's cheap, it's seven quid. What, what do you expect for seven quid? I think the best test for this would be me using it as much as I can in my job, which I'll be going back to next week or so, use this incessantly and see how long they last and I'll do a bit of an update video because from first impressions it's okay I mean if you use ferrules often I mean if you use them every day for a job I, I wouldn't suggest these unless you're in a bit of a bind but um, for seven quid they're not bad for an amateur like myself but yeah can't complain for seven pounds Okay, as for the ferrules that come with it, so technically you're paying what, maybe a pound for these? I, I don't know how much it costs to buy a pack of proper ferrules. I'll have to look that up and I'll put it on the screen in a second. So let's say two, let's say one or two pounds for this set and this is maybe four pounds, five pounds. For four or five pounds, <laughs> you can't go wrong. But. What, what else comes with it? So, what's the information? Is there any funny things on the back? Wire ferrule crimp tool is a newly designed crimping tool for wire ferrules. It is ideal for crimping insulated and non-insulated wire ferrules. No space between insulated wire. Um, ergonomic handle design, improved gripping power, adjustable ratchet and lever action construction, reduced fatigue degree. Okay. Special for mandrel crimping style for square crimp. High quality crimping standard ensures repeatable crimping action. Quick release safety lock. The end is the just how big it is. This a kit. This kit is equipped with terminal crimping pliers. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> it says it comes with all that. It's lies, lies, lies from tiny eyes. All right, so. Yeah, cheap tool is cheap. We'll see how long it lasts. Okay, so it's got four jaws for square crimping. Well, that's what the packet says at least. Rubberized handle with cheap smelly rubber on this side and hard plastic on this side. So it's comfortable to a point, I suppose. It's ergonomic to the point where it's okay. I mean, I've got quite small hands, so someone with a larger hand probably would do well with this. But you know what? It's comfortable to a point. Okay, so final verdict. It's cheap, it's smelly, it costs seven pounds, it works, it crimps nicely for the first few. I mean, I'm gonna have to give it a proper road test with me at work, but seven pounds we'll see how how long it lasts but otherwise it's um it's okay <laughs> okay thanks for watching guys this has been the cheapest feral tool on amazon and i'm gonna be testing it to destruction and i'll let you know how all that goes would you bother buying a seven pound tool do you bother looking at tools at this price range are they a false economy let me know down below and until then you know what I'll catch you on the flip side. I'll see you soon.